Hi, we're, we're the, the Psychic, Psychic Twins. Twins. I'm Terry. And I'm Linda. And today we're doing... <laughs> trying to use my serious conspiracy <laughs> voice. We're doing celebrity conspiracy theories with the twins. Ooh. Okay, so I love conspiracy theories. You guys love conspiracy theories. Yes. And I've done so many videos talking about some celebrity conspiracies. And, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, in private, we'll talk about it and you'll be like, yeah, that one's not true. Or that one is true. So I thought it would be an interesting video if we went through some of the most popular ones. Yes. Some that I've talked about, some that I haven't. Sure. And yeah. you guys are going to kind of debunk some of them. Yes, we yes. will. Which is going to be hard for me. I know. <laughs> but I'm going to take so it. attached and to the story. And we could be wrong and you might not agree with us. Yeah, so. you may not, and in which case you can write your complaint in the <laughs> in the below, comments below. There, you want to start with. Um, yeah. Okay, so what's probably the most? Actually, we'll save the most popular. What's the most popular one? Well, I think probably the most common one would Marilyn be Marilyn like Monroe, Elvis Presley, Elvis. too. That Elvis Presley, there have been sightings of him supposedly since he died back in the 70s and he was in his 40s. And it's really, this has really taken off like a viral story. A lot of people think he really is still alive. We're here to tell you Elvis ain't in the building anymore. No. <laughs> he is not, he has no. definitely left He's the building. He's not living. And you know, mm -hmm. Marilyn Monroe yeah. was really, really interesting because the conspiracy yeah. is, did the CIA kill yeah. her? Did the mafia kill her? Did she die of a drug overdose yeah. accidentally? Yeah. My sense, and again, you might disagree, is that the CIA killed her. Really? Yes. Yeah. Ooh, is that okay. what you thought? Yeah. I mean, I, that's what I hope. <laughs> just because it's didn't, a theory. We don't feel it was suicide. Right. She was 37, I think, when she died. And it was, I mean, it will never be proven exactly what happened. But I feel that she was killed by the CIA. There were people that were hired to do that and make it look like it was her own doing, well, the drug was, overdose. she you know, involved with the Kennedy yeah. brothers. And she was mm -hmm. having right. affairs with JFK okay. and Robert. Mm -hmm. And I think that it became too much. Like, you know, Pillow Talk, she was probably talking too yeah, much she, and getting secrets from them and right. I think that uh, it became a liability you know oh yeah God. well that's an interesting thing too because the whole Mar Marilyn Monroe thing I don't know if I have talked about that maybe I have but my whole thing with suicide and celebrities is sometimes why I don't buy it when a celebrity kills himself especially one like Marilyn who's so glamorous yeah. is because and this sounds bad and this is whatever but narcissists tend not to kill themselves oh, because they love right. themselves so much even if they're depressed and even if they're like damaged and this and that they That's still think they're better than people and they yeah. still think wow. that they should be on the earth and they don't want to kill themselves they love their fame right. and so somebody like Marilyn like she would never kill herself somebody like Heath Ledger right. I get that because he was so damaged and he wasn't a narcissist but when you're like the hottest girl in the world I don't see that <laughs> yes suicide, right? yes yeah. absolutely right. makes a lot of like sense. Donald Trump would never right. kill himself no, right. never. No, never. Never. <laughs> never. That's not going to happen. No. <laughs> okay, so CIA uh, did it. Ooh, that's okay, good. That's what I've yes. always thought, you know. Yeah, yeah it, both of us felt. And it wasn't necessarily the mafia. I think mm -hmm. it was just, you know, people that work for the CIA. Also, Michael Jackson is a famous one. Okay, so this one is, I don't know when this video is going up or when, whatever, but I did talk about this in a video, and there are so many theories, and Paris, his daughter. I have a like connection with her. Yes. We, don't, we don't like hang out stuff, but we talk and you know, oh, yeah. so I'm always on her side and I'm always like, you know, all about protecting her. But there is definitely some shady stuff going on. It definitely feels like there's more than just mm -hmm. more more than just like an accidental overdose you know um and i i would have to agree yeah. we actually channeled michael jackson for our book died too young which mm -hmm. is on kindle you know i really feel like there was a lot happening he was definitely addicted to propofol but he brought in the doctor that was willing to give him mm -hmm. this propofol there were people around within the agency that he had that definitely wanted him dead i feel so uh from what we gleaned from michael and from what he told us mm -hmm. in the channeling session, it, it was shady. What was it was shady. On. I don't think he's still living. That's another rumor. No. And, you know, a lot of companies make he's a not. lot of money doing viral hoaxes, by the way. And so they put these theories out there and sell them and people buy them. He is still, he is not alive. He is no longer living. And so... Sorry to have to tell you. So, okay, that's so interesting. So some kind of a hit with his murder, it's so scary to talk about. And I was even talking to Paris about it because I was like, ooh. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of scared to talk about this. And because it's like, with him, was it his company or was it higher things? 
I think, you know, oh. I, we don't like to call it an outright murder because we do feel there's soul agreements going on that, you know, it really is not a hard, a, a cut and dried murder, so to speak. Like was the Illuminati involved? But we involved. do feel, we do believe yes. there was Illuminati Very involvement. Possible. Really? Yes. I, oh, okay, that's what I yes. thought. Yes. Okay. Ooh, what's but, next? Uh, okay. Jenny Rivera. Oh, you remember people ask us about need, yeah. So I need to research this more because a lot of people want me to talk yeah. about this and I'm going to be honest, I don't really know that much about it. So you kind well, of break it down. Well, Jenny Rivera was a very famous singer and she died in a, mm. sadly, in a plane crash in Mexico in 2012. many years ago. And, you know, people say, oh no, she faked her death and she's still alive. But no, she died in that no. plane, guys. And five or six other people died in that plane crash and there were a lot of lawsuits around it of family members of those people that died. And um, she was pronounced instead we we do not believe that those pictures of so-called photos that have been circulating or oh she's there were sightings she's incognito as someone else no she had five children she would never have faked her own death and I don't think anybody would have faked it for any reason mm -hmm. so we're here to debunk that rumor and uh, we wish all these people a lot of love and peace you know um, and what about like Avril Lavigne they think she died and yeah. she has a body, body double, double. <laughs> <laughs> I think no. that's one that people wish because her music has changed so much and everybody's like Ugh. Where's the old Avril? Maybe she's dead. <laughs> oh, that could be it. Yeah, but that no, could be it. that one. Can't. How about Paul McCartney, though? They say the same thing about him. Yeah. No. So that's wow. all. And I also have never talked about that one because it's so much research and I'm, yeah. it's very overwhelming. Really? And every time I start, I'm like, there's too much. Um, but that whole thing is that Paul McCartney from the Beatles actually died and then mm. they brought in a lookalike. No. And then there's another theory that Nobody looks all like the Beatles him. are different now. And there's so many. No. Oh, oh, okay. no. Ringo and well, Paul. Ringo does look pretty good, though. They, yeah. they both look good for being in their 70s. Yeah, you know? they I, do. No, they are not... Um, body doubles or anything like that. Interesting. Now what about Tom Cruise? I, you've probably done something on where he has contracts with his wives and girlfriends because he's secretly gay. Yeah. Um, I think there could be something to that. I, ooh. Okay. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> ah, you know something. You have inside info. Ooh. Um, all I'm going to say is I don't have any inside, inside info, but it definitely is something where it's something a lot of people talk about yeah. in Hollywood. Yes. And it's very like it's accepted that's it, very it is, scary it is now in the hollywood community it's very accepted I and mean, it's not surprising at all to me because i remember and i've told this story before my first agent that i ever had the first meeting that i had with her she was like okay so now let's set you up with a girlfriend and i was like what and she wanted to create a relationship with her other client to get press and i'm like first of all i'm a youtuber nobody cares second of all <laughs> what <laughs> so it, it's not surprising to me if celebrities have fake relationships like of they course they wanted to do that that with is you? so so Funny. we know it happens, guys, all the time. Did they have anybody in mind? Yeah, I didn't know who any of that. It was like all <laughs> other starlights, internet people, internet people. I was like, this is stupid. Okay. Oh, how That's funny. That's funny. Is that? You're the first person we've ever talked to. What that about happened. Miley Cyrus? She died in 2010, right? That's oh, what people right. say. Uh, supposedly. Yes. She's and dead. Replaced by an unknown <laughs> Disney star or something. With the same, like, no. everything now. No. <laughs> she's, she's way too talented for anybody to impersonate. Who got plastic surgery? I don't um, think so. We also had one other one. Um, Keanu, Reeves. Keanu Reeves is immortal. And he was Charlemagne. Now, this is interesting. Did you? I think that he was. Uh, there's a whole website that he was Charlemagne in a past life. Yeah. I'm not buying and it. I'm not buying it. No. That, okay, so my thing about that is if you guys have seen my videos on this, there are so many pictures from hundreds of years ago that look just I like can't. famous actors now. Yeah. So my thought is obviously that's not them, but was there people back then that looked just like us? Yes. Is that just oh, sure. Definitely. I think I'm so. Sure. I mean, I've seen yes. pictures that look very much like us. Um, um, actually, there was one uh, about Katy Perry is really Jumbany Ramsey. I think <laughs> oh, you might have no. mentioned that in one of your videos. <laughs> yeah, that one's so true. <laughs> No, uh, no, you know, not true. <laughs> Katie is not John Bonet. I wouldn't wish that karma on her anyway. No. Katie is a separate soul, a separate being. Now, there's a rumor going around. It's uh, the NASA doomsday asteroid. Yeah. Have you heard this? That it's going to destroy Earth uh, in February and cause mega tsunamis. And that's, that's a hoax. Oh, okay, no, good. no. I mean, there might be one that comes relatively close to Earth, but not close enough to really do damage to our planet. 
in the next any in the next you know few decades now. You know Taylor Swift, uh, she's a powerful leader. She has a lot of um, a lot of control, I guess, over the media and people in the media. She's very very powerful psychically too. I think she just has a very high vibration and a powerful. I think she has a good message for young girls too. You know how to be strong and and not back down from bullies. Uh, she is not a former satanic leader. No. And uh, there's there's really nothing. She's a current one. <laughs> there's nothing satanic. There's nothing satanic about her. Uh, and I don't think she ever had any satanic worship in her past life. No. Interesting. No. And so um, I think people that are jealous tend to make up things like this too because they want to bring them down. I think there are some musicians and singers that were satanic and did satanic kinds of rituals and Ooh. worship in past lives. I prefer not to say <laughs> just because Anybody I don't want it? to be attacked well, by their fans. Well, there's a lot of rumors about Kurt Cobain, of course, oh, uh, right. you know, and how he died and was that a suicide and was he it, wasn't was satanic. He, murdered? he wasn't satanic. But, uh, do, you th th do you think he was murdered? You know, that is one that I'm almost afraid to say what I think. Yeah, we're not going to talk about that right now just because that's a little bit charged because Courtney um, is close to it. We, we don't think Courtney did it, but oh, we, you don't. Should, no. Because no. I did a whole no, video about it. No, she practices the you? same kind of Buddhism we do. Yeah, I did a whole video about it. I don't remember what my opinion was on it, but yeah, I, I don't think that Courtney had anything to okay, do with it. Yeah. But I definitely don't think it was a suicide because that suicide note was. No, weird. it does. Interesting. I never felt it was a no. suicide either. So, no. uh, uh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but I think some heavy metal musicians may have had some satanic, uh, you know, interest in practices in past lives. Uh, you wanted to talk about Brittany Murphy, right? Oh, right, yeah. Yes. So I talked oh, about right, this right, in the right. video. Brittany Murphy, right. it's just so confusing with her death because first they said she died of just natural causes. And five months later, I think it was, her husband died of natural causes. And then I think her mom died. I need to re look at that. Maybe not. Her I mom her is mother's still alive. alive. Her mom's still alive. She's still alive. Um, yeah. Then it was like this weird thing where the dad thought it was the government and then they did her um, it autopsy wasn't again. It wasn't and it was uh, full of uh, metal, poisoning. metal poisoning. Very confusing. So that's something that the FBI or whatever, they even are just like, We're, we don't know, move on. Yeah. And she was taking a lot of medicines and mixing things because yeah. she had the flu at the time and she wouldn't go to the hospital. So yeah. that can suppress your breathing, your lungs system. and your heart. So it's possible it was accidental overdose, yeah. but, uh, and that can also leave a residue in your hair, yeah. you know, like yeah. heavy metals and that kind of thing. I don't think it was I was murder. always suspicious I... of her husband, though. Mm -hmm. I always thought, you know, maybe he killed her and then himself. It always felt like that to me. It, again, it feels like a very, a, a very powerful agreement, soul agreement. They came in with a contract. Because it was a strange attraction to begin with, wasn't it, Shane? Right. And uh, he just was so not like her at all. And she was drawn in. I think he was a master of mind control. <coughs> and he kind of looked like her father, too. Like, he had the same look as her dad. So yeah. it felt like a father figure yeah. to her. There and... was definitely some Illuminati mind control going on there. Ooh. Yeah. Well, guys, there you go. Let us know in the comments which ones you believe or if you think they're wrong or I'm wrong or you're right, whatever, let us know. And yeah, this is really cool. And also leave some comments uh, letting us know what other yes. theories you want them to talk yes. about or debunk. Maybe this could become a yeah, series. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, we'd love to. And, and uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe and we'll see you in the future. future.